Do you know the concept of work and energy? Do you know positive and negative work? Can you define one joule? What is meant by the term energy? To learn all these basic concepts, watch this video till the end. You are watching Najm Academy. Let's start the video. Work and energy. In our daily life, we do a lot of different work and we get energy from variety of food that we eat in our daily routine. But when we study work and energy in physics world, their definition and concepts get a 360 degree rotation. For example, if a builder builds a wall, he may say after the day job that he has done much work. But in reality, he has done zero work according to the physics rules. In physics, work is defined as the energy transferred by a force in its own direction. Or to simple it, I can say that when you displace an, an object in the direction of your force, we say that according to physics, you have done some sort of work. For example, if a block is present here, you exert force on this block in this direction. And the block moves in the same direction are in the direction of force. We can say that you have done work according to physics rule. So remember this convention of physics that whenever a force displaces an object in its own direction, we call this displacement of an object due to force as a work. Now if another block is present here and you exert the force in this direction, and the block moves in this direction. Can I say that you have done some sort of work on this object? The answer is absolute no. One can say that I have exerted force on an object and the object is displaced by my force. So according to the definition, I have done some sort of work. But this is still wrong explanation. Here is the explanation that the work is zero. You have exerted force on this object in this direction while the object is displaced in other direction. Hence, the direction of my force and the direction of displacement of this object are not same. Hence, work is zero here. Remember this simple rule that the direction of force and the direction of displacement should be same for maximum work done. Now let me discuss the formula of work. The formula of work done is equal to f dot d cos theta. If someone write f cross d cos theta, then this is the wrong formula. Because work done is a dot product. Work done is not a cross product. In this formula, we already know that f is the force which we exert on an object and D is the displacement of an object in the direction of force. Then what about the cos theta? Well, the theta is the angle between the force which we exert on an object and the displacement of an object. Let me explain this work done formula by giving you some examples. If I put 10 Newton force on this object in this direction, then this object travels 20 meter in this direction. Here I know that the direction of force and the direction of displacement is same. Hence the angle between them is zero. Therefore here theta is equal to zero degree. And we already know that cos zero degree is equal to one. I know the formula of Worden which is equal to work done is equal to fd cos theta. Hence putting values and the formula. Work done is equal to 10 newton and to 20 meter cosine 0 degree. I get work done is equal to 200 newton meter. Or I can say that work done is equal to 200 joule. Remember that there are two SI units of work done. One is newton meter and another is joule. 
so in this example we learned that work done will be maximum if the angle between force and displacement is zero let me give you another example if you exert 50 newton force on an object and the object is displaced by 30 meter in this direction then what about the work done well here the angle between force and displacement is 90 degree hence theta is equal to 90 degree now writing the formula of verden verden is equal to fd cosine theta verden is equal to 50 newton into 30 newton cosine 90 degree we know that cosine 90 degree is equal to 0 hence verden is equal to 0 newton meter our work done is equal to 0 joule so in this example we learn that when the angle between force and displacement is 90 degree the work done will be zero that's why i told you early in this lecture that when the direction of force and displacement is different work done will be zero let me also teach you the concept of positive work and negative work First of all remember that work is a scalar quantity therefore work may be positive or negative if you exert force on an object in this direction and the body moves in this direction then the angle between force and displacement is zero we also know that cosine 0 degree is equal to 1 hence here work done will be positive on the other hand if you exert a force on an object in this direction and the body moves in this direction here the angle between the force and the displacement is equal to 180 degree we already know that cosine 180 degree is equal to minus 1 hence here work done will be negative the negative sign indicates that if you exert a force in this direction body will be displaced in opposite direction in real life when we raise an object from our surface the displacement will be like this and the force of gravity will be in this direction hence the burden against gravity will be negative now let me teach you about the concept of energy energy is explained as the ability to do work are the capacity to do work as we learn that when we do some sort of work on an object we displace the object from its mean or rest position or we can also say that when we do some sort of work on an object the work produces motion in an object we already know that a body in motion possesses kinetic energy hence we can say that when we do some sort of work in an object it changes the kinetic energy of an object simply remember that work changes the energy of an object the si unit of work is joule and the si unit of energy is also joule remember that energy can be transferred from one object to another object there are different types of energy like kinetic energy potential energy thermal energy chemical energy which i will discuss in my upcoming videos at last let me teach you that 1 joule is equal to 1 newton meter or i can say that when you exert 1 newton force on an object the object will be displaced by 1 meter and the work done here will be 1 joule If you have learned something new in this video then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video